Can you describe your outfit real quick? What you're wearing and like how much each piece might cost? Off-white Prestos, maybe like seven, eight hundred. The jeans are maybe like three hundred bucks. T-shirt right now, Nas T, Supreme, three fifty. A couple rings, Chrome Hearts, Gucci rings, three, four, five hundred a piece. What about the bracelets? Maybe like a thousand. What about what you got in your teeth though? Braces? Hey. They're like six, seven grand. Hey, you trying to get your grill straight for the actual grill? 100%, yeah. No facts. Of course, I got to start off with the Gucci shoes down here. You know, it cost me a check. Uh, got the H&M pants, like $60 guest shirt right here. Gold watch, vintage ring. The grill? And the, and the grill. How much that grill cost? <laughs> Pretty expensive. The XO Beep Collab. I just bought this two seconds ago from the vape store. Yeezys, I just bought these. Middle bit, drip, drip. Second, second shot, sip, sip. Second, second, drip, drip, drip. She don't want dip, dip, dip. Share a like hip, hip, hip. Let me get you hip, hip, hip. We don't make drip, drip, drip. I'll make you drip, drip, drip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been getting this in your seats. Yo, I can act out every week. Like, I'm so gone, I just be in speed. BC go bring people to go to the street. Yeah, I'll drink the Jack Genesis. Yeah, girl, you know you know that's the recipe. Hey, we'll make it rain. Like, drip, drip, drip. Yeah, I'ma go. Cash got me splashing it, game got me passionate, added it up, counting it, might just surrounding it, rest. Fastin' it, Barbie ain't crashing it, all red, I'm flashing it, checks, I've been cashing it, ranch got me dabbing it, yeah, I've been dabbing, yeah, I've been dabbing, it's been babbling, no, I ain't having it, nah. Thought I couldn't rap, yeah, I'm never, never. Now I'm out here chasing all the revenue. All these bitches just went like, oh, yeah. Drip, 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 Thursday. Keep up just, what is it called again? <laughs> Talk Drip Live. Drip Talk. Live while you're talking. Drip Talk Drip Live every Thursday at what time, Gail? 9. nine. I was going to say 9 a.m. 5 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> 9 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> talking tips right. with 9 p.m. Eastern. Drips. No, well, no. Drips. <laughs> talking drips. 9 p.m. Eastern time Friday every night. Thursday. 9 p.m. Thursday night. Live. Talk Drip Live. And Talk they're gonna live. what is they gonna learn about? Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are tuning in right now, you are listening to the freshest radio show on the planet. This is Top Drip Live. This is our 25th episode. Everybody make some noise. Make some motherfucking noise. So you already know. Drip. We back. Yo, it's our 25th episode special. Back in November of this year, me and Jay. Yo, let's get off the phone really fast. Thank you. Right. Um, back in November, me and Jay, we had a dream. We had a fucking idea to start DC's first streetwear and sneaker radio show. A show that embodies streetwear and sneaker culture in the DMV area, in the United States specifically. And Talk Drip Live came into fruition. Since then, I've shot and aired 24 amazing episodes where I give the public exactly what's coming out every single week, what's hot, what's not, what's gonna resell, what's not gonna resell, what you're gonna make a dollar on, what you're, bother, what you're better off leaving at the store. Now, every single week, I keep people with me that know a thing or two about sneakers, and just like that, I have a couple co-hosts with me. Please give it up Squat. one time for Ocho Ali. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Igor, put the other camera up, too. And one more time, give it up, everybody. You guys saw him last week. Turned up. Jay is in the building. Yeah. So last week, we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about Supreme Week 11. We talked about the Kith Monday program. We talked about what Palace was releasing. We talked about a whole lot of stuff. And we got to do that this week as well. Of course, you guys got to give it up really quick for BZ301 for being in the building. Give it up for BZ301. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. As you guys know, if you guys have seen the show before, Drip Drip, one of BZ's singles, is our theme song right here on Talk Drip Live. Very fitting. 
obviously. Very, very but tonight very. specifically, you guys basically got tickets to a free concert because he's performing two more unreleased tracks from his upcoming projects right here on Talk Drip Live. So stay tuned for that. One more time, give it up for BC301. Before we start talking drip this week, I got to give a big shout out to our studio, our home, Listen Vision Live, WLVS Radio. The show would not be possible if we didn't have such an amazing staff, such an amazing crew working behind our backs to make sure Talk Drip Live happens and happens correctly and happens well, right? So for you guys to appreciate them as much as I appreciate them, you guys got to check out the other shows on WLVS Radio. So if you guys are around on a Sunday, make sure to come around to Phone Homie Presents, the Slab Hour, every Sunday with our homie, Phone Homie. He's out here telling you what's up with the slabs every fucking Sunday night from 9 to 10 p.m., <laughs> right? Every single Tuesday, if you guys are around, Talking Terps with District Dabbers every single Tuesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. right here on WLVS Radio. This show is not called Talk Drip Live with Peter Plains. The show is called District Dabbers Presents Talk Drip Live with Peter Plains. So, this show would not be possible without that man. So make sure you give his show a watch every Tuesday night. Talk Drip Live with Peter Plains, but talking Terps with District Dabbers. Every Thursday night, right here, what are we doing? Right here, talking drip. Talking drip every fucking Thursday night, 9 to 10 p.m. WLVS Radio, Listen Vision Live. We're right here, and I'm telling you what's good this week in sneakers and streetwear and everything the celebrities are overpaying for facts. and we're making money on. Indeed. Big facts, big facts. Every Friday, Friday is a big day, yes. right? Because if you show up on Friday at 5 it's o'clock. On payday. Right? On payday, if you show up at 5 o'clock right here, you get hip hop in action every Friday. 5 o'clock from 5 to 6 p.m. with DJ Boom, a.k.a. Jeremy Beaver, and DJ B-Dub the Wonder. Right? That's yes. every Friday, 5 to 6 p.m. Every 6 Friday. o'clock every fucking Friday. Freestyle Fridays every fucking Friday. Every fucking Friday. If you are a rapper, boy, if you're an artist, freestyle. you want to put your boss to the test, Freestyle Fridays is the place to do it. And right <laughs> after that, right after that, kick back, relax, and watch the real guys DMV with Stone So Well and D.O.D., they're just smart people watching doing du- smart people doing dumb shit, right? Watching smart people do dumb shit Who doesn't every like fucking that? Friday night, eight to Plenty nine p.m. Shit. Fucking Stone So Well and Dod, right? That's a full fucking week. Facts. That's everything we got Tune right in. here on WLVS Studios. Now, we have a full studio audience, right? We gotta show love to studio audience. It's a beautiful studio audience, don't you think so, Jay? Yeah, I think that's right? a beautiful audience. And I like to show the studio audience a lot of love because people show us a lot of love, right? Facts. But you know who shows us the most love? Life's a Game Apparel shows us the most love. So make sure you go to lifesagameapparel.com. Use that code ta- uh, PeterPlanes20 and you can save 20% on your next order. Life's a Game Apparel. Play your cards shit, right. PeterPlanes20. Let that them know who he sent you. He's a, he's right? Definitely font. check them that out. Definitely check them out. They definitely send us some stuff. So definitely go get some fly gear. Go for get yourself. some drip. Right? Yeah. Now that's all the announcements. That's all I have to talk about right now. We have to take a small break because when we come back, we got to get into talking drip. So you guys ready to do that? Yeah, definitely. Right. Studio that's audience, it. are you with that? Drip. So we are going to start talking drip in a couple minutes. Make some noise. Talk drip live. Episode 25. We'll be right back. Episode 25. Let's get it. If you're tuning in right now, you are listening to the freshest radio show on the planet. This is Talk Drip Live. We've been talking about bringing a streetwear sneaker radio show to Washington, D.C. My name is Peter Plains. I'm an avid reseller. Exactly what an IG reseller goes through. And I, I, I'm a piece of shit, too, so I get it. That's a pretty picture for me. Uh, but Tommy Hilfiger knew what Kith was, and he wanted to. Ronnie Fike puts what kind of fabric he's going to use. $1,098. TV show itself. So they got the rights for the kids almost every year, but we got a Nike apparel collab. Pull up this video, right? And so now these are the big as big as possible. We got box logos this morning. You were looking at the sellout time for how fast he's boxing. You can watch our show on YouTube tomorrow. You can watch on WLBSRadio.com yeah. right now. You can watch on my Instagram live. Everybody, I appreciate you. I'm going to see you guys next week. We're a brand new show. This is Talk Drip Live, where we talk drip live. Thank you so much, and we're out. Spot. Please do not act up. I take a cash out. Do not make me lash out. I'm going a pass out. They look into my past now. Uh, I'm about to blast off. Smoker runs with the mask on. Tell your man's to back off. What's that on her nose? I think that's that blow. I can't afford with these hoes. Should they gon' ask for more? Well, I've been counting my dough. Ayo, been smoking your dough. Hey! Your shorty been real suspicious. She looking into your mistress. Your mistress gon' talk to your mistress. We're back, we're back, we're back.
we're back. If you guys already start talking drip, make some noise. Yeah. All right, so we are no strangers to the Kith Monday program. We talk about the Kith Monday program every week. Some people might be tired of the Kith Monday program, but I'm going to keep talking about it because it's that important stuff. And it's fire merchandise, right? So every single week we talk about a little brand we like to call Kith, this brand right over here, started by the man, Ronnie Feig. He started a couple years ago, and it competes with Supreme on a weekly basis when it comes to releasing merchandise. And fire merchandise. So this week for the Monday program, which is a release Ronnie Fogg does every single Monday when he releases his own merchandise, he did a collaboration with a very, very inspirational person, Maya Angelou, who passed away, I believe, four to five years to this day exactly. So it was extremely fitting to put Maya Angelou on a piece. So we got a long sleeve, we got a hoodie right over here, and we also got a t-shirt in the right corner. Um, what do you guys think about the picture? Yeah, I super fuck with the. Uh, I feel like a t-shirt is cool, but the long sleeve and the and the hoodie definitely. Yeah, I feel the same way. Same Especially thoughts, same emotions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. short like, sleeve. Those shit is just hard. So yeah, what, yeah, the do retail on the hoodie is one sixty five. The retail on the long sleeve is seventy five, and the retail on the t-shirt sixty five. What do you guys yeah. think about like value wise? What do you guys think? Would you guys uh, fuck with it? I mean, that's that's, yeah, uh, that's valid. Given us, I mean, like symbolic uh, for what it is. For what it is, it's definitely worth. That, yeah, it's a nice They piece. could have they could have charged way more and still got it off. Yeah. So yeah, um, and it was uh, of course really smart of Ronnie Fogg to use Maya Angelou because she did pass away five years to the day. So to shed like light yeah. on an important person is always um, pretty a good deed in my book. Facts. So yeah. definitely sweet, I like the sold black out. Hoodie. All of it sold out. So we'll be definitely seeing some Maya Angelou on some Kith merchandise here soon. So that's a dub. So it's a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah guys? definitely yeah? a thumbs up. Audience, yeah. you guys fucking with it, right? It's a dub. All right, so let's move on. So that was for the Monday program this week. We have to talk about Supreme, what they released for their week 12 this year. So we're about halfway, in, maybe a little over halfway into the Supreme SS19 season. Um, a lot of decent merchandise has come out, a lot of resellable merchandise. For the most part, it's been a pretty soft season. So we got to see what is coming out this week and what's fire, what's not. We'll start with the trucker jacket, right? We were talking about the trucker jacket before the show started. Yeah. You guys were fucking with the trucker jacket. Yeah, I was yeah, fucking with both of them. Jacket, trucker jacket is definitely smooth. Yeah. Uh, fuck with the denim joint. Right? Yeah, I like the black um, denim. Spring, summertime, too. Nothing wrong with a good yeah, denim Yeah, definitely could put yeah, some patches denim, on that jacket, denim, too. Denim it's a penitentiary a jacket. jacket. Yeah, yeah, definitely retail. distress that joint, too. Could have been distressed. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a nice jacket. Definitely distress that joint. Yeah, paint that joint, bleach it. Yeah, you could do whatever, right? It's denim. Do whatever. That bitch way out. You know what I'm saying? Some kids shit. All right, moving on. What do we have after this? We got the Gore-Tex court jacket, all right? Yeah, right? Yeah, Gore so Gore it's Gore-Tex, right? Gore-Tex, super cool stuff. It's going to last you in all temperatures. That's what Gore-Tex is about. Practical. There's a high t um, ticket on them, but it's supposed to last you. Whatever temperature you're in, Gore-Tex is going to hold you down. Yeah, it looks like one And whenever they use yeah, Gore-Tex, yeah. they definitely, you know, ride the pony till the wheels fall off, right? So we got the pants. We got the fucking crusher also, right? The military we got the jacket. We got the pants and the crusher, right? Pretty dope. And it's Gore-Tex, so you know what's really cool about it. Fact. It's Gore-Tex. Yeah. It's Gore-Tex. <laughs> you know about Gore-Tex? You like saying Gore-Tex, don't you? Deal from a friend of us. It's Gore-Tex. It's Gore-Tex. <laughs> you know about yeah. Gore-Tex? So it's Gore-Tex. You gotta love Gore-Tex. And um, Gore-Tex always doesn't sell out, but when it comes to long term, it always increases in value. So yeah, I know a lot of resellers who just buy everything Gore-Tex, keep it in their closet, and then resell at the end of the year or like two, three years in. Right. Right? That's always a move. Moving on, what do we have after the Gore-Tex stuff? We got the toy Uzi Uzi hoodie, right? So we got a Uzi on a hoodie, and then they put it on a sweatshirt. So let's look at the logo. This is the logo on it. Pretty sweet. Pretty. Is that a, is that yeah, too like that kiddish? That like a, a ri the original Doom game. Type. That's what, like like that 15, like dope, 14, 15 year old just getting into Supreme. That's kind of whack, Facts. right? Uh, I'm not the biggest giant. fan of this, but it did sell out because it's a Supreme in there somewhere. Facts, it is right? Supreme, and yeah. and for stuff like this, even though it's like a simple, it's a simple emblem. I fuck with the different uh, colorways on it. Not exactly. Just, not yeah. The green probably stands out the most. Facts. White and black, exactly. I would probably revolve to the most. I fuck with the Uzi. I fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Tay, what do you think? Eh, eh. I like like that's, like like Ocho said. The colorways are good. cool, but yeah. you know I don't like Supreme. All right, moving on. <laughs> 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 and then we got the six panel. So they they took a blank hat and they put the Uzi on the back of the yeah. That's, hat too. Now that shit is ugly. That's that's yeah. whack. Yeah, I think that's whack too. That shit is Supreme yeah. for skateboarders. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely for that's skateboarders. Definitely for some skateboarders. Right, Supreme's original demographic. D right, does. moving on. What do we have after this? And then the rib stripe crew neck, right? So crew neck hoodie. Let's look yeah, at this. Cool. Uh, let's look at this stripe really bad. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Right. Yeah. So that's the stripe on it. It's okay. Pretty vintage in my opinion. Vintage, Tommy yeah. jeans vibes. Yeah. Tommy yeah. jeans vibes in my opinion. Polo sports, right? maybe. One thirty. When you're going vintage, the the key is simplicity. Yeah. Exactly. So I feel them on the design exactly. for that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Moving on. What do we have after this? 
And then we got the Playboy. You haven't got the Playboy collaboration in a couple of seasons, if I'm yeah. right. Yeah, it's been so a little while. Playboy man. collaboration. Right. Though, so we got the zip-up shirt. And then you could have the whole fit and get the matching shorts going with it. Yeah, I like the shirt a lot. Right? Zip-up shirt. That's, that's a different type of style. That's definitely so a different type of style. So right? is that the Yeah, no, this is pretty, definitely summertime. Pretty, yeah, it's definitely some shorts, summer shorts. Right? I like those white shorts a lot. It's a great time to drop this. They probably Does it have any Supreme logo on it? The velour. The Playboy. I'm asking. I think it's, it's more of like a satin. It's, it's, oh. it's just a Playboy. It doesn't have the satin, No Supreme yeah. logos on it. Moving no on, what do you have after this? I'll see No Supreme. I'm and then the pi- uh, piping practice um, short sleeve shirt. I like the back of this shirt. Let's look at the next picture really fast. So the back of this shirt is really nice like because it shows how intricate joint. it is, really. So I think that's a pretty dope shirt. It's yeah. a thick T-shirt too, right? So that's like it a looks like it's a thick shirt. It's yeah. a thick shirt. Yeah. yeah, high material quality is definitely one of the Supreme. Yeah, it's a hot ass shirt. Definitely like signature. Moving on, moving on. We city in that Then we got the wash twill shirt, right? Um, this is just based something a skater would really gravitate towards. Nothing right. too special about it, right? Well, moving on. And then the persistence of Mary. It's a silk shirt. Um, Blunchville's mom, he really likes shirts like these, these bowling yeah, shirts. Them. This is his whole I thing. I sleep in. And then, <laughs> 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 so then we got the clock, and then it's a dripping clock, which I thought was a pretty decent um, yeah, logo. That's definitely some drip. Yeah, no, that's definitely, that's definitely hard. It's, yeah. it's like something. It's look, something. It's weird depending on how, how many different ways you could look at that. Job. Yeah. Moving on, what do you have after this one? And then the putty tee. That's what it's called, right? A lot of intricate graphic on the putty tee. That's really a graphic tee. That's a crazy graphic. Very Versace like, right? Yeah, Yeah, Versace. Very Versace like. But Supreme Bites anyway, so. (laughs) (laughs) Moving on, what do you have after this? And then work short. Nothing crazy about the work short. We don't need to spend any time on work shorts. Them some um, short ass shorts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're skater shorts, right? Let me make sure. The more Those, the fabric, the harder short ass shorts. That makes it better. Really you would want that much skin exposed. Them so some, since nah, you skate, like, you want you, your knees. You're about to go. You're about to yeah. go golf. Skaters skate, like that though, right? Skate, skaters fuck with golf. Skaters fuck with that. Yeah. Moving on. What do you have for that? Checkerboard camp cap. Definitely Tyler. Definitely Tyler vibes. Yeah. Checkerboard camp cap. No. Actually, I like the I like the tan one. It's Tyler the creative vibes. Right, this hat too. That's how I feel about this. Are we feeling the hat though? I feel like this shit is. I think this is a dope camp cap, bro. Like they be releasing some whack camp caps. I'm with this though. So what you gonna wear with your your uh, checkerboard Vans? Hype beast. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play checkers in them. I'm gonna wear a checkerboard hat, checkerboard Vans, and I'll play checkers in them. You lost me. Add a checkers. And get the Vans book bag too. <laughs> Shout out Rick Ross. <laughs> Shout out oh, Rick Ross. <laughs> checkerboard van, checkerboard hat, playing checkers out of checkers. Yeah, that's a, Gang. say that five Moving on. Times. Say that five yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, let's move the on. The front's keychain. Okay, People now. are showing a lot of love to this front keychain. Is that trying still in stock? I'm out of get that. You no, know, well, Supreme. It, it so might you be. Go to checkers. Yeah, like, Don't $48, do that. bro? Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> I forgot to go Listen. live. $48, bro? Listen, man. $48 for this shit? It should be still in stock. You should look. Right, front keychain is a sweet ass definitely key chain, sweet. Definitely sweet. What else we have? But but why do we have to do the front? Though, the this? gold, the gold pull out. And then we got the Molotov Kid skateboard, right? So what do you guys think about the skateboard? What's the difference? So for the, the I see the difference now. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that yeah. big of a deal. So hey, we gotta keep the um, voices down in the studio. Thank you very much. I would appreciate it. And the Molotov Kid skateboard. Right, so we got three of those. So right? is this what do you like guys a one of it? one? Is it only three? So there's three. There are three different skateboards. They released all yeah, well, three like of the three them. Of they were three, all limited when it came to the sizing. Color. So they're all going for like a hundred bucks. So and yeah. it's only those three. Yeah. So it's okay. like pink, black, and blue. Moving on. What do we yeah. have for this? Yeah. They look a little different, even though they. Yeah. Even though so and then we got yeah. the pool. This was the accessory of the week, right? Four. So we got a pool cue. McDermott and Supreme <laughs> collaborated together on a pool cue. Yeah. Right, and I don't know if you guys play pool a lot, but pool cues are fucking expensive. It's They're like the epitome they of weird flex, flex, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. This is exactly yeah, no it, right? bullshit. Weird flex, uh, but okay. Three hundred ninety-eight dollars. Take your pool serious as shit if you buy that pool. You better be raw shit. You pull out to the court. You better be nice, bro. Otherwise, you that motherfucker that pull out to the court with Under Armour, everything going and don't score or assist or rebound. Tim, you're pool out right now, bro. If you pull out a Supreme pool cue and you scratch the eight ball, I'ma cloud you. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking clown you. And I'm gonna take your shit. I'm gonna fucking clown you, right? Moving on. What do we got after this? Oh, this is the end of the Supreme one. This is the last one, right? So that's the end of the Supreme drop. What do you think about the Supreme drop? The pool cue is crazy. That pool cue is gonna go up when it comes to value. The best yeah, like piece was, was that Playboy yeah, shirt. Yeah, like that pool cue is gonna go for a thousand dollars. Yeah. That pool cue is gonna go for a thousand fucking dollars. I stamped that on a grand. Yes, yeah, right. Somebody, it came out this somebody morning. Rich is gonna buy that. Somebody rich is gonna buy that. They're never gonna use it. That's a thousand dollar pool cue. 
One hundred and ten percent. The best thing on there was that Playboy shirt, though. The Playboy shirt. You see the Playboy shirt? That Playboy shirt was dope. Shorts. The shorts was cool. The shorts was straight, but I get the shirt first for real, for real. Yeah, I get the shirt, the white one. I like the shorts. I like the shorts. I'm trying to slap whoever made the fronts. What else was sweet? What would you fuck with? The front keychain. The grill keychain. Yeah, I want to slap whoever I did that was in the room. Bro, I'll say it again, bro. Like, if I ever make it, like, I've never like really. Been fond of jewelry like chains and shit, but I I'd, I'd get a grill, bro. I get a fire ass fucking grill. Fire ass. Grill. I get a fire. I wear it every Supreme fucking it? day, bro. I get. I wear it every fucking day, bro. I don't know. If, I'd get Ben Baller to make Vulture. it. I get Ben Baller to make it. Oh shit! Bro. I wear it every single day. Ben Baller only make like ten pieces a year max. Exactly. He gonna make nine after mine. <laughs> um, that's the Supreme Week. Anything else that we really fucked with this week? The Playboy shirt, the shorts. The pool cue, obviously. The front keychain. I'm fuck with the Maya Angelou set because... The Maya Angelou. That was off the Omar. kid the drops. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking I like the Maya shirts, Angelou, the thick shirts that right? had the back Maya stripe Angelou on them. Maya Angelou was definitely yeah. sweet. Yeah. The uh, back was sweet. And the vintage Supreme 94 stripe. A slight uh, week, yeah, the right? Only because, only, because, only because I know what that was for, and so like it, it works for this for. What are we rating the week out of a 10? Seven. Seven? I, I could agree with a seven. Yeah. Audience, yeah. what do you guys rate the week out of a ten? <laughs> Six, seven, seven, four. Solid, solid seven. Four. Solid, solid seven out of ten week when it comes to Kid of Supreme. Solid seven out of ten week. This is a better week than last four. week, too. Definitely better week than last week. Definitely So we're glad was. Turned Up J came back. We got to take a break because BZ 301's in the building. He's itching. He got to get back on the stage, right? So we're going to take a... Yeah! Yeah! yeah. So we go. We go take a small break. We gonna be right back. We gonna talk sneaker releases for the week. I'm gonna pick somebody out the audience. If somebody wants to win this Vago Life XL hoodie, I'm gonna pick somebody out the audience. They're gonna play a game. If you guys can win the game, you get to walk away with this hoodie. It's an XL, but whoever wants, you can have it. Right. So uh, we are gonna take a small break. You guys stick around. We'll be right back. Make some noise. Talk to live. Episode 25. We'll be right back. Yeah. We'll be right back. I want the Gucci and the jar. Fucking Michael Kors. I just want a farm. And she want the Gucci and the Louis, but you know you trying to smoke the shit. Yeah, you want a doobie. We gon' roll it up, get a roller. Push your little baby mama down a fucking stroller. Take it down a hill. Yeah, you paying all the money, pay the bill. And you know I'm trying to ball Cleveland, George Hill. If I gotta run it like I be the fucking point. Yeah, we trying to fucking smoke weed. Give me the joint, boy. I got it in my pocket if I gotta take the zipper. I ain't gonna go late night psych with the stripper. If you don't know, man, I ain't gonna be the one to tip her. Cause she already getting money. Ain't that funny yet. Yeah, she trying to be a playboy bunny. Ain't about a Hugh half hit it with my left And you know I'm gonna steal the shit, do it like a theft And you know I'm right here, man, I do it like a left, like a wreck Hey, we select, I'ma stand up, man, they don't want to go connect All the dots, yeah, girls and the thoughts They didn't want to stack up all the money like the blocks, Lego blocks Hey, talking about the ego, didn't want to get that bitch prego Got the plan B's, had up my boy Manny Didn't want to fucked up off the Zanny Yeah, I'm talking to the girl Suzanne e. She been the maid, I don't care, but she don't got the aid Got the first aid kid, but you know I'm killing it If I wasn't bacon, yeah, they gotta be billing it Give me charges, I'm trying to be the one that barges Through the door, FBI, SWAT team Didn't want to be the one that was on a SWAT team D. White Howard, bitch, you so scared, you a coward Coward to cowardly, like I ain't gonna be the one that was out here saying like I was about here partly I don't want to make up all the rhymes but I think it's about time to give it up yeah go ahead and live it up yeah I want to Yo, bring my vocals down just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit hey baby you looking yeah. so bad vocals down just a little bit my man my phone trying to remember yeah. we cool hey everyone just need to chill and relax yeah there's more than 
with a fact, I'll be back with a bag. Never been a type to go out and brag about a stack in my hand. No, I'm not that type of man, no. Now this music put me on the flex, with a cash or a sex. I'm put word like the best, yeah. Took a hit, now I be feeling relaxed. Need a second to dab, so hands I and don't collapse. I had come to realize, no, I don't advise. People making wrong decisions, way too ill advised. Villainize, not surprised. Regardless, I be locked in on the prize. Boy, you know I'm trying to maximize. Like, I be living up, why be splitting off? Got my swag right, price, take a rip it off. Don't pass like every time I pick it off. Got your girl wet, now she wanna go and slip it off. Shit, my bad, didn't mean to take you off. It's like, nah, bitch, I really meant to flick you off. No, I never asked none of that trouble, but you was so eager to tell your struggles, like. I ain't gon' fuck with no switching that shit. I ain't gon' fuck with no switching that bitch. I ain't gon' fuck so I'm fade like the rich life. They said that it wouldn't be lit enough. It's sad that they already giving up. Now nothing great ever came quick enough. I tell them to relax. I got it, that's real facts. They switching up real fast. No, I don't get what they can't even relax. They stuck in their real laps. Damn, I cannot feel that. I can just feel bad. Do what I do just to keep me on track. Cause all that money gon' come right back. Yeah, that's more than a fact I'll be back with a bag Never been the type to go out and brag About a sax in my hand No, I'm not that type of man, no Now this music put me on the flex Whether it's cash or sex I'ma put where I like the best, yeah Took a hit, now I be feeling relaxed Need a second to dab, so Hang tight and don't collapse Popped a Zan, just to calm the nerves did too much, gotta call the nurse People be fucking around until it really hurts Used to go fuck with the sound until I really learned Oh, Used to be savage, still got the savage I got the cabbage, no you can't have it I'm wrecking havoc, it's been a habit Like sporadic, uh. No, no, don't panic, shock like static Sleeping like hammock, my flow organic Babby just panic, doing the magic, doing the magic Ay. No amount of hate can kill the dreams If it don't pop it, I'll spill the beans Homies be tight, yeah, we still the team Go where I go and they always be down the scheme Yeah I know my way, I don't need your help No need to tweak, I'ma treat myself I'm going out from 3 to 12 Baby girl, relax your mind Baby girl, relax you fine Baby girl, relax you mind Baby girl, know the time Baby girl, relax your mind Baby girl, relax you fine Baby girl, relax you mind Baby girl, you know the time Everyone so chill and relax It was more than a fact I'll be back with a bag Never been the type to go out and brag Got a sax in my hand No, I'm not that type of man, no Now this music put me on the flex What is cash or sex? I'm a poor boy like the best, yeah Took a hit, now I be feeling relaxed Need a second to dab, so hang tight and don't collapse Appreciate everybody. Let's get it.
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for BC301. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Now, BC has one more song to perform. It's his, like, uh, honestly, I fuck with this song super heavy, so I'm super excited about it. Stay tuned for the end of the show. It's definitely one of the most fire songs I've heard from an artist that's performed on this show up until now. So that's saying something, because I've had, like, 23 artists. Um, so, we gotta move on. This is a point in the show, everybody's favorite part, where we talk sneaker releases for the week. Facts. These are all the shoes that are coming out this week, or have already come out, or are gonna come out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? So let's start with our first one for the week, and we have the Nike Air Fear of God moccasin in the particle beige, right? So Jerry Lorenzo, he owns Fear of God. They've been collaborating with Nike for a couple of months now. They released the first Air Fear of God, then we got the Skylon, then we got the Air Raid, and now we have also the moccasin. This is the third, second or third colorway we've gotten for the moccasin. What do you guys think about it? Yeah, uh, I like the shoe design. The silhouette? The what silhouette, do you think about the silhouette? Yeah. yeah, for sure, but I like the black This is the black colorway. one right here. We yeah, also I like, like the black one. one. I like the black one better than the, the peach, beige one, but I like that? the... Oh, you said beige. Like the, the, the silhouette is good. The silhouette's like a, that's dope, like a pearl. You guys fuck with the silhouette? But when they yeah. added the strap across, they yeah, look like both Jacksons now. Like They look cheap now. Yeah, and then look at the leg, too. The leg is like you know a little wider, too, like a moccasin would be. Yeah, what do you guys it's probably you super, with it? it's probably So black super over the beige, but you guys fuck with the silhouette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with the silhouette. Audience fucking with the silhouette? Right and, there, Fear God Moccasin. the soul. Jerry Lorenzo definitely yeah, put his own take on the moccasin. So we're fucking with white it. White. Right? Soul. And the moccasin came out pretty well, so they also gave him this air raid right here. So we got this one in the black, right? So let's look at this air raid. Uh, 190 on this, so 20 bucks higher than the moccasin. Um, we just got an all black air raid. This is the second or third color we've gotten for the air raid too. What do you guys think about it? Yeah, I like those a lot. Better. Yeah, I like right. those. The soul is like dope. I dig the soul, right? Which yeah. is like you know the soul is the same for all of them. Yeah, but that's what he's known for. I'm not for. the biggest fan of the silhouette personally. I'll be really? honest. Really, you don't like that yeah. silhouette? Yeah, like I guess if you're gonna ball in it, maybe, but that's not like you know a casual. Yeah, that's shoe. what I'm saying. It's, to it's just steeze like in, an like shoe. Yeah. yeah. Moving on, what do you after this? All right, the clay. All right, we got a residential Yeezy expert turned up. Jay's in the building, right? Yeah. We got the clays a couple weeks ago. We just got infinite grade school sizes. So you know the females in the building, the kids in the building. If you guys like clay three fifties, they come out this Saturday. What, what's the date today? Sixteenth. They come out on this Saturday, right? What do you guys okay. think? Did you like the colorway? Yeah, I like the colorway. You know, the I like the, I like the clays. I didn't like. I the did. Clays I did much. like the yeah, clays. I like the colorway too. You got talking. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't like. Talking like. I didn't like the I didn't like when I saw them on picture. Like right now, I didn't like when I seen them. Yeah. But when I saw them on foot, they look a lot better. And yeah. I like them on small feet as they is. So that's how I feel about. Yeah, like, yeah. That's how I feel. About. I feel like that's a big thing with Yeezy. It's like like you gotta like kind of have an affinity for how it looks on the feet in order yeah. to appreciate the picture. But like, if you don't, then you gotta wait to see. Yeah, it you on gotta the foot understand to know that. It's like, I think know, Kanye's so. colorblind because <laughs> when this shit's on your internet, you looking at it on your images, you like, damn, all right, that shit's gonna be this color. It's gonna be this bright. And that shit's pale as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Pale as shit. All the all the know, triple black colorways are like gray. That colorway, bro. That's a whack yeah, colorway facts. to me, bro. What clay? Yeah, that's just a I whack mean, colorway to well, me. Well, it was like didn't it release in like what? Three, Somebody came in like, bro, with some khakis, yeah. and I was like, it's still whack with some khakis. You just got khakis yeah, on with clay. You can't wait for nothing. Yeah, no nah, khakis. Nah, no, that's that's champ. No khakis. Nah, what, some dark blue jeans. Some olive. Some olive. Tay, you fucking with him? I'm gonna let you have this one, but Yeezy ain't been the same since he left Nike. Easy ain't been the same since he left Nike. That's facts. That's Everybody believes that ain't a hot take. Yeah, that's not really. <laughs> oh, I stand home. firm. Ten toes on that one. Nike easy was definitely <laughs> hard. Argue me you got one. You got one. You got one. All right, what do we have after this? All right, the Nike Air Force One Low, the Python Snake Swoosh. Are we fucking with these? Yeah, I like yes. those. Are we fucking with these? One hundred thirty dollar price tag, I fuck with which is a premium cocaine, Air Force One, right? That's a premium Air Force One price tag. Because the Air Force is retail for ninety dollars, low top ones. Facts. So forty dollars more for that Python snake. Are we fucking with it? Yeah. Yeah, but is it a Python print? Or is it also the Python material? I don't Facts. think it's a Python material because that would have been more expensive than forty dollars. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Right. It might have just been one name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure just it's just the, the print. It's just yeah. the print. Okay. Are we fucking with them? Yeah, I mean, they all right. That just made it's me smooth. not. I would wait. I would wait a couple of weeks until it's one twenty and go. Yeah, like you <laughs> probably get them. You could probably get them for under on StockX <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. But I wouldn't lower. be mad at them if I saw them in person. That's for sure. Right? Yeah. Is that the last one? Oh, and then we got the John Elliott Nike LeBron icon, right? So Nike LeBron uh, LeBron has These been um, re-releasing his older um, silhouettes. 
with John Elliott, who's a very known designer. So premium materials and LeBron's older silhouettes, right? So these guys the look like the Pradas that everybody in the hood used to have. <laughs> the Pradas, right? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, the, like the 2012 Pradas. All, 100%. The, sh- all, the, tra- all, all the trap <laughs> niggas had these giants in 2007. 250 retail, too. So that's a pricey <laughs> retail for a LeBron, right? Uh, what do you think? Is this going to do well? Is it going to sit? Um, they probably are gonna sell just because of the premium materials that they yeah, have. You maybe. know, the hype beast gonna and eat that. Because it's yeah. John yeah. Elliott. Maybe because it's John Elliott. Never underestimate yeah. the hype. If you're a referee, you might be able to rock this. They're gonna try to resell them, man. In my opinion, I wouldn't go, like, I wouldn't go toward the shooter to resell it. I would definitely wouldn't go toward the shooter to resell it. Yeah. It might sell for like maybe three fifty. Eventually, four hundred maybe. Eventually, maybe. maybe like four years from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Right. It's because of the premium material. Just because people they eat, might not sell well up. right yeah. now, and they all might never do that again. So uh, that's why they'd be worth. Our friend, later. everybody's friend, Tyler the Creator. Just got his new collaboration with Converse, so he just released three brand new shoes, right? So we got two Converse One Stars, and then we got a Chuck 70 High, yeah, right? This, this goes with the whole Supreme collection, basically. Yeah, basically. So we got red velvet in the gold and the red, or the red velvet and then the gold velvet, and then uh, purple velvet in the high top Chuck 70. What do you think about it? Is this Tyler the Creator as fuck? This look like the backseat of an old pimp mobile. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, <laughs> uh, um, I fuck with the I fuck with the gold joints um, cause cause they're a little more subtle and you can appreciate. And it's that. like a quilted nylon in it. I think you can appreciate the, the like the design. He definitely more. went above and beyond. I don't know yeah. if um, Tyler really made good sneakers. Yeah, like I'm trying honest. to I'm trying to like them, right? but I can't. Yeah. You're, that's facts, bro. Yeah. I'm really I mean, trying to like. And what's making it the hardest to fuck with them yeah. is the fact that they only come in three colors, and the first two colors they all is look like they're yeah. female yeah. colors. These yeah. like PF yeah. flyers. But just yeah. think about it. Like just I was about, about to ask you, are they unisex shoes? Are they female shoes? It doesn't no, matter. They, the collab, get, he can yeah. just sell this to his fans. They're, if they're, they're in grade school and then men's sizes, then they're you know men and female, men and women's shoes. Are our future fans as if he drop a if he drop a sweatshirt that go with these? They gonna eat it up. Just yeah. Same yeah. With the, same the whole design. Supreme collab. The whole, is, Supreme, is, collab. Yeah, the whole right? Supreme collab is what you wear with those shoes. Literally. Definitely dope. Um, I don't think Converse is gonna drop Tyler anytime soon because he actually really fucks with Converse. He just didn't do it for the check. So it's definitely different. We're looking forward to seeing more stuff from Tyler and the whole Converse team. Right. This is a little point in the show where we like to play a game. We call this game the Drip is Right. Right, and in this drippers, right, it's a very simple game. What we like to do is we like to pick somebody out from our studio audience. I'm gonna throw up three different articles of clothing. It could be a shoe, it could be a hoodie, it could be a t-shirt, it could be anything. Right, I'm gonna give you the retail price. I'm gonna give you what when it came out. I'm gonna give you a couple facts about it. Right, what makes it cool? What made it sell out? What made it not sell out? And you have to give me a good guess on what you think the average resale value is of said piece, right? Three items, you get two out of three, right? You get to walk away today with this one of some Vago Life hoodie. Shout out Vago Life. Vago Life 703. The homie Vago, he came to the show a couple weeks ago. He was our musical guest. Shout out um, he left guys. me with a bunch of gear. I kept some of it like this hat. This is a super dope hat, but he left me with a bunch of gear. So I'm gonna give away a lot of this gear. First thing I'm gonna give away is this hoodie. It's a dope ass hoodie, it's an extra large, so it's gonna shrink A or B, it's that long fit, so you gonna like it, right? So let's pick somebody out the audience. Show of hands, who wants to play? Anybody wanna play? Play. Can we, shout out we already picked guys. somebody. Come on, King so Combs. Come on down. Let's get King let's, Combs. Let's get let's get her a mic. Let's get, get her a King mic. King Combs from, from next to turn Let's get her a mic. Let's get her a mic. Yeah, BZ, give her your mic. Give her give her your mic. Alright, let's get a camera on her. Peter, ba, 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 right here. Yeah. I want to say, uh, shout out to 420 guy. He wore oh, wait, the Sleart shirt. Oh we have to talk about awake first? Yeah, we were, but you skipped it. It's cool. Oh, did Let's I go. skip awake? Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about awake. Okay, can you give me five minutes? Yeah. All right, cool. All right cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go back. Back to the drip. Hey, this, back to this the is a drip. live show, right? So shit happened. Back to the. I was drip. like, yo, somebody's gonna fuck up. Who do you? It would be me. <laughs> right. All right. So, um, really quick, we're going to talk about Awake NY. Awake NY is a really cool brand. They just announced their um, spring summer 19 capsule. Awake was started by this guy right here, Angelo Bach. Right? He was the creative director at Supreme for like 10 fucking years. And he left just last year. He started Awake five years ago. Right? They released some stuff last year. They just released some stuff last week. It all sold out, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, that's him right over there. He did a lot for Supreme, so let's look at everything he just released. Igor, let's roll it. 
All right, so this is a couple of the jackets he just did. Um, all of the stuff sold that out. Pretty dope, right? Yeah, that giant is jacket, tight. Right? There's a couple of the jackets inside, out. Really dope materials. Yeah, really ta- look at the Taj Mahal on the back, bro. Let's go. That Let's go. Is hard. Bro, bro. That's the only one y'all saw? You can't hear me? All right, so they can't see it? All right, that's fine. Let's just, let's just keep going right now. All right, so let's look at this. Um, these are the hoodies, right? What do you guys think about the hoodies? Right, this yeah. is they're gonna be their box logo basically. That electric right? green one. Whatever is they fire. think is their box logo. Yeah, is that orange one is fire. Yeah. All right, let's see what's happening. Yeah, all of them joints is nice. Yeah, definitely yeah, dope hoodies. Colors. Yeah, I, fuck I with need these that. A lot. I need uh, that. Giant. The blue one. The, these are kind of oh, sweet. That's why I say it's hard. Yeah, and the blue one's dope with the yellow, gray with the black, black with the white. Oh, that black. The yellow with the blue though. That shit's really yeah. hard, right? Voices, voices. All right, very sweet. I like them. This is sweet. I yeah, don't know what's going one, on exactly. Yeah, I like that purple one a lot. He's definitely pushing envelopes. He did a lot for Supreme, so he's definitely taking a lot of what he learned and he's bringing it to his own brand. And every time they probably said Shout no to him, to this is exactly where he's bringing it. So I'm really excited to see Awake. I like this logo a lot too. If this is what he wants his box logo to be, I'm fucking with it. I definitely like this logo altogether. Some more of the tees he's releasing, right? What else do we have? What else do we have? What do you think about the color schemes? Yeah, right? they, the blue, they, they pick some good colors. Nice the, the, color, the color schemes, schemes right? Yes. This is a dope shirt to me. The that AU, because is AU is nice. the fucking chemical symbol for gold. Fucking fire, right? Ooh, nerd. Really, but really fucking, <laughs> really fucking sweet <laughs> shirt, hard. bro. Right? Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot of it. Um, Angelo Box. So I'm excited to see the brands he collaborates with going in the future. Because nobody coll- makes collaborations their first couple years in business. After you identify yourself as a brand, that's when brands come to you to collaborate. So I'm definitely... Look at these hats. Look at that second one sp- particularly, right? Um, I want to talk about all the fucking um, inspiration he's taken from Supreme. But just look at that fucking... Look at that bucket. What do you think about these buckets? Yeah, definitely. Very Supreme. Look at this blood bucket on the right, right? Look Supreme, at this blood scheme Supreme right here on this right. That that's color scheme right there with the blood on it was dumb sweet in my opinion. Socks are dope. I like the socks, right? And for the socks most part, it's dope. all really affordable too. It's nothing too. I'm crazy. getting a lot of Supreme vibes. A lot of Supreme yeah. vibes. Right? Yeah. Uh, look at this hat specific. Look chain. at this blood drip. Look at this blood drip colorway, right? This blood drip colorway is crazy to me, right? All right, Igor, I'm done with this. All right, so that's awake. We are gonna look at more into it as soon as like you know it starts selling out and stuff. Yeah. Right now, I think the hoodies were 130 bucks. They're all going for like 230, 240 on the market. Mm. So you definitely could have made a decent profit flipping awake on release day. Yeah, they had a pop up in Dover Street Market, London. Then they had a pop up in New York. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they had a pop up in Dover Street Market, London. Then they had a pop up in New York, and then they released online on the 13th, so just three days ago. So it definitely caught a lot of traction really fast. All right. Now, let's go back to the what fives, we were doing right before fives, this. Let's Peter, play the, the Drip fives. is Right. Um, yeah. The so let's go, Yeah, exactly. So let's go to the Drip is Right. Um, step on up for me. I appreciate your patience. Give it uh, What's your name? Or Shaddy? Shaddy. Shaddy. All right, give it up for Shaddy one time. All right, do you remember the rules? Do you remember the rules? You're good to play. We got a camera on her. Fantastic. Let's look at the first piece we got. These Supreme Fives, right? Now, if you were just looking at the blood drip colorway on the on the hat and the crusher, it looks exactly like these Supreme Fives that we got four years ago back in 2015, right? So this is a collaboration between Supreme and um, Jordan brand. It's a Jordan 5. We got it back in 2015, October of 2015. $198 was the retail price, right? Now, it took about eight and a half seconds for this colorway to sell out in all sizes, right? So that's eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think they go up to fourteen, right? So for all those sizes to sell out, it took eight seconds on the Supreme website, right? Um, which means that the $200 price tag that they originally costed no longer matters, right? They go for whatever people want to charge for them because it was so hard to come by the first time. I need now, to get in this business. You could get into this business. Anybody could get into this business if you know which store to camp out in front of, which bot to buy, and which website to be on. And if you're fast to type in your credit card or your parents' credit card. One or the other. Uh, Now, let's move on. Uh, So right here, $198. Yeah, I think so. All right, is it on? Yeah. All right, cool. $198 retail price. Give me a good guess what you think it's going for on the resale market. I'm going to give you a good guess. I'm going to give you a um, a clue, Okay. okay? okay? It's at least... Double, but not too much higher okay. than that. Um, That's a really good fucking that's clue. A good, okay, okay. Then I say 
500 and no, so just kidding. 500 plus. Okay, so 200 was the retail price. Yeah. 200. And we're saying it's at least double. At least double, but not too much not more. Not too much more, not like quadruple. Okay. Let's say 700. <laughs> oh, okay, I said 500. <laughs> okay. Okay, I said. At least double, so 200. I say $1. Is price is right there. <laughs> no, that don't work here. Okay. All right, all right, so 200 is the retail. Okay, I'm gonna At say least double would be. 400. 400, but not too much more. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to stick with my, close to my 500. Let's say 485. 485, that's a good guess. Drum roll, please, Igor. Uh, Wait, Igor is going to give me, don't guy, mess nice up the studio. Roll. He has a drum roll, I think. Yes? Drum roll, please. Come on now, Igor is the GOAT. Let him work. Yeah. Give me a second, give me a second. No drum roll? Hey, hey. He's going to play the Gore-Tex video. Leave him alone, leave him alone. Wait. Wait, wait. Let him work, let him work. We're not going to like get say a drum it, roll. Say it now, Peter. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey. $450 is the resale price. So she was close enough. Oh, yeah. One time for Shadi. That's right, what so I was you got one. Too. You got yeah, one. Yeah. You got to get at least one more. You got to get one more. What's next? What's next on the list? <laughs> All right, so we just looked at this. We just I did, if you were oh paying attention. God. Yeah, you got to stay you awake. I, <laughs> I, do I do. You, you got to yeah, stay awake. Right? $130 is the retail price. It came out three days ago on the 13th on the Awake website. He just told me. $130 yeah, is the just resale price. That. What do you think it's going for on the resale market? I want to give you a guess or a clue, okay. right? It's not double, but it's kind of close. It's kind of close. Then I, let's do some mathematical equations. I love mathematical equations. Speaking to the mic. Oh, carry the nine. Carry and the then nine. we're going to That's what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ten dash. Okay, so we're going to get 350. Okay. 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 Okay.
It's now <laughs> probably $25, yes. to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you sold yourself out. Right? No problem. All right. Um, that's the show. That's Top Drip Live, episode 25. We make dreams happen on a weekly basis. This is what we talk about every single week. The show's not over yet. We have BZ301 in the building. He's performing his song, Unknown. So we'll see you guys next week, episode 26. My name's Peter Plains. Um, this is Ocho Ali. That's Turned Up J. You already know. Um, shout out to Igor. Shout out to Blunt Builds Bonds. Shout out to Young Soup for being in the building. Shout out to our musical guest next week, Eliel. Shout out to Miguel. Shout out to um, everybody in the building. There's so many people here. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Blunt Builds Bonds, WLVS Studio. Let's Live. Because um, they two, do. If you guys want to come by, be a part of our live studio audience, 2622 Georgia Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C., um, we're right over here, Listen Vision Live, WLVS Studios, every Thursday night, 9 to 10 p.m. I'll be here. You can come on by. It doesn't cost a penny to get in. Without further ado, we're going to take a small break. We'll be right back for BZ301 and his performance for Unknown. And we'll see you guys next week, episode 26. Um, let's talk Drip Live. Thank you guys so much. Everybody make some noise. Drip. Yeah. Right back. Hey. Yeah. All right, let's get it, everybody. Listen on a good note, you know? Uh, shout my engineers, producers. One day I'll buy them Medusas, cause they help me go produce this. I'm a problem, I'm a nuisance to the haters who ain't moving. They too scared of my improvement. Too many points that I've been proving, but I ain't tripping, bitch. I'm cooling, yeah, I'm cooling. Who you really think you fooling, bitch? I seen everything you doing. Now you tweaking out, assuming I'm a baller, you a student. Yeah, you acting fucking stupid. Now you back like cause you done blew it. This a road that we pursuing. We don't seem to know it. No one even knew that it would come to this. Yeah, yeah, you ain't got a clue of how I'm gonna flip the switch. Hey, yeah, it's unknown. I'm hardly home. I'm in the zone. Ain't check my phone. Just leave a message at the tone, but I ain't checking on no hoes. I've been grinding with my bros in the nicest studios, and it's a love big booty hoes. Will I get paper from these flows? It's unknown. It's unknown. Who really been hating on the low? I guess I will never know. It's unknown. It's unknown, it's uncertain, but we working, man. We really stay determined. We all know that we can earn it. We ain't playing with no turning. Petro bitch ass out in person trying to talk to me. I'm swerving, ain't a fan of bridges burning. Couldn't let you play the kid. You can't stop me, you should quit. I've been doing this since legit. Goddamn, all I do is spit. And everything is undisclosed. Now I keep the circle closed. Acting like you seen a ghost. Don't know why you so opposed, ho. I've been playing the game for a minute. Just understand that they ain't no limits. Hey, yeah, it's unknown. I'm hardly home. I'm in the zone. Ain't check my phone. Just leave a message at the tone. But I ain't checking on no hoes. I've been grinding with my bros in the nicest studios. And it's a love big booty hoes. Will I get paper from these flows? It's unknown. It's unknown. Who really been hating on the low? I guess I will never know. It's unknown. It's a known, it's a mystery Always knew I had the capability Texting me, saying that you missing me Other day heard that you was dissing me You say swerving lanes, girl, that's way too fucking slippery Thank you, everybody That's BZ301, everybody You can find me everywhere Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube BZ301
She don't fuck dip dip Cheering like hip hip Let me get you hip hip We don't make it drip drip I don't make it drip drip Yeah 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 I have been getting deceased Yo blocking out every week Like I'm so gone I just can't speak Sight BC go rinse and repeat I'll go and smoke some tree Yeah I'll drink that jack from Tennessee Yeah girl you know that's a recipe Hey we'll make it rain so heavily Like drip 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 Yeah I'ma go make it go Like drip drip uh, Cash got me splashing it, game got me passionate Added up counting, it might just stop rounding it See but won't fasten it, Robbery ain't crashing it All red, I'm flashing it, checks I've been cashing it Ranch got me dabbing it, yeah I've been dabbling Haters been babbling, no I ain't having it, nah